question, okay? Come here. Have you ever watched an anime that was so good you had to make a full video out of it? Cool, can you give me some? Kamikatsu, working for God in a godless world is what happens when you take the scriptwriter of Konosuba, slap a bunch of industry voice actors like, oh, I don't know, the voice actor for Yuji Itadori, Dandy from Space Dandy, Mitsuri from Not Space Dandy, Shinji fucking Ikari, and maybe, just maybe you don't know any of these people and you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Then at least you're probably aware for the voice actor of the teensy tiny little role of Ai Hoshino from Oshinoko. Arguably the biggest anime of the season. Now, take all of that juicy, sweet nectar and just shit all over it with the animation budget of Seven Deadly Sins. This is what you get. And it's fucking perfect. Kamikatsu is about this guy who, in the first 10 seconds, gets straight up tribute sacrificed by his own father in the hopes that he will one day be saved by their holy god Mitama and therefore ascend the throne as their next leader. Now, if you listen to those words carefully, you should have noticed two things. One is that what I said was total horseshit, and two is that this motherfucker is steaming. This isn't normal. No one else is doing it. This man is literally emitting water vapor from his body like he's the fucking I wonder if The Rock does that. Anyway, knowing that he threw his entire life away, basically having zero friends, no hoes, and peaking silver to in Valorant. Someone switch my scripts. Yukito curses the life that he's led, and as he's thrown into the deepest depths of the ocean, slowly seeing his life fade away, he wishes to have lived in a world where God and religion had never existed. Now the following scene I'm about to show you is an artistic representation of the people in my comment section every time I post these banger ass videos. <laughs> Thanks guys. This channel is oh, so my so oh my god, what is she doing? Oh my god, oh my- So he reincarnates with a handjob from another world, and realizes that not only do these people have no god or religion, evidently, but they're also super fucking virgins! It's like going to a Karu fan meetup on opposite day. So Roy, the resident pervert of the town, and Alural, the girl who likes our MC, have decided that enough is enough and that they have to go to the imperial capital to learn the forbidden art of sex. This is all going somewhere, I promise. Once they're there, we catch a glimpse of a ritual being performed that is later revealed to be a part of the country's end-of-life system. Since God doesn't exist in this world, no one in the capital fears death, and anyone who opposes the capital's rules are banished to the outskirts of the city. And just as we're about to leave, we see that Alural and her sister Siluril's names are next in line for execution. One thing leads to another, and in the end, Yukito desperately tries to save Alural's life. At the foot of death, with nothing but straws left to grasp on, he calls out to the one thing that his dad left him with. A knockoff souvenir charm that he's supposed to use to call upon the almighty Mitama himself. And thankfully... Oh, you've gotta be fucking kid- So it turns out Mitama is a lolly, I hate my life, and now they're public enemies of the state. Great, now we can talk about the things I like about this show. Much like any other isekai, the plot of this show is irrelevant. There's no grand narrative, no serious story that it's trying to tell. I mean, there is, but I don't really give a fuck about that. I just came for the bullshit that goes around in this world, and the anime delivers on that. Sometimes, you just have to put down the six-star Michelin dishes and settle for some junk food once in a while. And Kamikatsu, working for God in a godless world, fills me up so good. That didn't come out right. It's a show that doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's pretty evident when you hear the title of each episode. What the fuck are you saying? Every episode is an invitation for you to laugh at what's being shown on screen, whether it be the stupid hijinks that usually involve this guy, the big booby fan service, which wasn't really all that funny, except for this, or the terrible, terrible animation. Fun fact about that, I actually did a bit of digging, and after reading a couple chapters from the manga, specifically this scene in particular, 
it was not supposed to look bad. Look at this. This is what we got in the anime. Now look at this. This is what they got in the manga. It's day and night. This boar was supposed to look menacing. It was supposed to be scary. I'm pissing my pants as we speak. Meanwhile, the only thing this is scaring are the people on Twitter complaining about the animation. <laughs> the characters are also a point of interest for me. Not because they're good, but because of how awfully generic and one-dimensional they are. Roy's a 24-7 horn dog, Alara's a soft-spoken uu girl, Mitama's a lolly, Siluril's the best character on the show, and Klen is the calm-headed cool guy. They're a whole ass sitcom cast, and in between all that mess sits Yukito, who plays the classic straight man role who tries to sort everyone out. Everyone's specs are fully maxed out on one personality trait, and it's such a tried and true formula, Rin and repeated on so many occasions. And yet there's still something so infectious about it. Again, this will vary from person to person, but if you're like me and just want to turn your brain off, this sitcom style ensemble and their personalities will most certainly rub off on you. You can't help but smile when something good happens to them and that, for me, is indicative of good writing, when you make me want to care for the characters. There are definite budget cuts, yes, like the constant reusing of animations, the blatant jerry-building of the 8-bit video game style, but that didn't bother me specifically because I actually like 8-bit designs, but I do understand that it isn't for everybody and it's a very obvious cost-cutting technique on the studio's part. Even the author Akashiro confessed on Twitter that it was to save costs when talking about some of the scenes. But I like to think that there's a difference between studios using cheap cost-saving techniques for the purpose of, say, meeting a deadline versus using them in a creative way that benefits the series. Now, just to clarify, I'm not giving an excuse for the 8-bit animations. In fact, some of its use in the anime was actually to its detriment, so I'm not saying it's good to cut corners. But when talking about the use of bad CGI and this one live-action scene specifically, I think the studio handled it pretty well. So Akashiro tweeted out that when dealing with the farming scene, the director of the studio, Inaba Yuki, said this to him, which reads, Bro, let's use real life. And so they did. Just for comparison, I went ahead and looked for the scene in the manga, and what do I get? Nothing. It's literally just farming. Now, imagine the director had taken this scene and interpreted it one-to-one, -one and actually animated it. What would have happened? Well, one, it wouldn't have been funny, and two, people wouldn't be talking about the show as much, giving it less media attention. Because let me tell you, that's how I discovered the show. Now, the way you see it as either a bonus or a detriment to the anime is completely up to you, but I think all press is good press. And by extension of that, we can apply the same argument for the CGI monsters. It's painfully obvious that this studio isn't beating Demon Slayer or Chainsaw Man when it comes to animation. The studio itself knows that. So instead of making some mediocre to generic looking monster with their budget, why not just go full throttle, or I guess no throttle, and just make the shit as ugly as possible for comedic effect? Sure, it wasn't the intended outcome of the author, but you get what you're given and you find a way to use that to your advantage. Because in the end, there's a difference when it's intentional and unintentionally bad. Now for my videos, this is all I can do, so you just have to deal with it. But uh, you, you should still subscribe and uh, like and comment because uh, it helps me with the algorithm. Yeah, 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 yeah. really good good, really good. You want to be a really good person, right? I mean, who, who doesn't want to be a good person? I mean, <laughs>